Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview. Today's interview is with the Dark Fissure of the UNSC Angels of Death Clan. So let's get started here. Uh, what is your clan history from uh, back when you first got into clans up until now? Uh, when I first got into clans, let's see, I'll probably go back to uh, Halo 2. I was running around as, uh, that's gotta be what, 10 years ago, so I was running around as 11 year old. No idea what I was doing. Uh, that's back when it had the clan system in. And I know I was in some system of some clan, I couldn't tell you the name, um, and they're probably not around anymore, so it probably doesn't matter. Um, and then after that, I, uh, I did a, about a week's worth of uh, training in a, a clan called the Blood Wolves on Halo Reach, and decided that they really weren't for me. And then so at that point, uh, me and the co-leader of the Dark Spaz um, created this clan. And uh, we've been with this one ever since. What's your guys' current member count? Uh, our current member count is uh, in the mid 20s. I'd say probably about 25. Um, that's not including the new recruits of the last two weeks. Um, so if we threw them in there, we're probably sitting about 30. All right. Uh, how does structuring work within your clan? Uh, our clan, uh, we originally started out as a UNSC cannon structuring, uh, you know, the whole nine yards. And um, after about a year or so, we just, we didn't really like the whole structure of it. Um, and we had a lot of the bigger uh, UNSC clans coming in and trying to tell us, you know, oh, you're not being strict enough with your members or you don't make them go run laps or this or that. And so we're like, what's the point? You know, for us, that's not what we were looking for. And then so we broke away from the, um, the, the canon part of the community and um, we switched to what we have now, which is um, we have the, the two leaders, myself and the Dark Spaz. Um, and then beyond that, we have uh, squads. Um, each squad has a, a leader and each uh, squad has up to 10 members. And beyond that, there's no ranking. Um, what made you want to start your own clan? Uh, well, we were uh, we were really looking for uh, you know a group of guys to uh, to play with, and because uh, you know running around and matchmaking by yourself gets pretty boring after a while, and uh, as you probably well know, and so we were just looking for a, a group to join at first, and um, we didn't really find one that really worked well for us. Um, there was either we didn't get along personality wise. Um, with the people that were in it, or we didn't care for the structuring. And then so we decided that the, uh, the best way for us to, to kind of get the kind of people we wanted to play with together would be to just start our own. All right, uh, what has been your guys' toughest fight? Uh, our toughest fight uh, was probably back uh, Halo 4. Uh, we did a clan battle against a clan called the Blood Pack, and... Um, they were they were a really good squad. Um, it, it ended up I, we, we did best of five, and it came down to the last the, the fifth match, and we lost by I think maybe two kills. And so that was I really respect them. They had a, a lot of good members. I read on your website that you guys used to be competitive. What made you guys switch over to Firebase game types? Uh, we just wanted to try something new. Um, we did that scene for a while and uh when we made the switch over to uh mcc it was pretty rough at first just because you know the game was broken <laughs> and uh we just decided since we were moving to the new console we'd uh try and switch over and uh try and get into the community more since we'd always been a clan but we'd never really you know really dug into the community all that much and that's something we decided we wanted to change what are your guys' plans for the future as far as uh, building up your clan, that kind of thing? Uh, well, our plans for the future is um, we do, we're do we pretty active on the community forums and stuff, just trying to let people know who we are, uh, doing some recruiting that way. Um, we get a lot of recruits word by mouth. Uh, we just get people that join up and they're like, man, I really enjoy this. And then they tell their friends and their friends are like, hey, can I try out? And uh, that's, that's the main way we're, we're building. Um, recruit wise um, but for the uh, the future of the clan we're actually in 
worked with a couple other clans in creating what's known as the, we're going to call the, the Halo Clan Council, and it's going to be it's set up sort of like the United Nations would be, and there's a lot of different groups out there that are coalition based like that. Um, but what we are going to do differently in ours is the um, the lead member of the entire coalition. He is not a part of any clan, never has been. Um, he is not involved with any beefs of the community, which we all know there's some serious deep rivalries between clans. Yeah. Um, which, it can't be good and bad. Uh, so you're looking for a completely unbiased source then? Exactly. The, the way that it's gonna, it's set up to work is any member that's, uh, any clan that's part of the coalition, uh, if someone's trying to declare war on them or something like that, or they want to declare war on somebody, then they would come to the council, and the council was made up of the leader and co-leader of every clan that's a part of the coalition. And you just kind of discuss it and see what our pros and cons are, you know, what's the real reasoning behind it. Um, and then from that, we'll take whatever we've discussed and we bring it to him. We're just going to call him the high counselor. And uh, he, he knows a lot of leaders of clans, but he's not never been a part of one. And so he has no favoring because if you look at most of the coalitions that they're, they're run by a clan. A clan started it or a group of clans and they have an equal say in all of it. And it's mostly the bigger ones. So any smaller clans that join in almost get no say in it of what the direction that the, the unit takes. And with us having one voice who's never been involved in any of the beefs, we're hoping that uh, that'll create an environment to where we're not getting uh, our members involved in pointless wars over start over stupid things. Uh, you know, if we're going to have the coalition go to war, then it's going to be because it's a valid reason. Um, and we don't want our smaller clans... Um, being drugged into stuff that they're just not ready to and because it's not good for them um you played the halo 5 beta right i actually uh was unable to play the beta oh. um but our, our we had a lot of members that did and uh they really liked what they saw have you seen any uh, gameplay of it i have yeah i've seen gameplay of um it. what did you think of the halo 5 beta as compared to uh master chief collection um Let's, I mean, as the collection's playable right now, um, but it's not really set up all that well for the community, as you know, we're all pretty much aware of with no join in process and stuff like that. It makes raids pretty hard to do, especially when custom games legs out quite a bit. Um, but if everything goes smoothly, which I'm from what I have seen from the beta and heard back from members that played in it, it it ran pretty smooth. Um, I think Halo 5 can it can really be set up well for the community and clans. That's about it for my questions. Uh, do you want to do like a recruitment message or hell even ask me a question? Uh, for recruitment, um, you know, you can just look up our, uh, our website or our YouTube channel. Um, Which will be posted down in the description below. All right. And uh, if, you know, beyond that, if you have any questions, you can always message me on Xbox or uh, the Dark Spaz, and we can pretty much answer anything for any questions anyone has. So, and I don't think I got any questions for you. All right. Um, this has been Halo Clan signing out. Thanks for coming. Thank you.